you're an expert in Italian travel. Tell me some of the great places that we can go. It's a difficult question because in Italy there are such a lot of uh, great places that everybody knows in the world, but there are great small places which are as great as the, the other ones and uh, they are what I, I would call a kind of little jewels, little gems. So if you want a really a cultural experience of Italy, it's, uh, you don't want to miss uh, the big art pieces, but you don't want to miss uh, the small uh, uh, jewels as well that makes really Italy uh, what it is. What is the real culture of Italy? Uh, Italian culture is made uh, of our uh, way of life, of our uh, food, of our uh, uh, local festivals. So I think uh, if you want to really have a cultural journey in Italy or a cultural experience in Italy, you, you have to try all the pieces and all the pieces together will make uh, you understand what's Italian culture. The nice thing of Italy is that you can design a great tours uh, uh, combining great art uh, and culture with great uh, food and wine experiences and have a uh, very nice uh, wine tasting experiences, beautiful landscape and maybe a nice uh, relaxing day on the countryside in a beautiful uh, hotel uh, in a beautiful setting. Assuming I only have one day to spend in Venice, where should I go and what should I see? Of course, in one day, you have to go to San Mar Square. And, uh, but I would suggest you to go back in the afternoon when there, it's less crowded. To end up your day, you have this uh, small island with the San Giorgio uh, church, which is a real quiet island. And from there, you can enjoy the sunset and the view of uh, San Mar Square. That, that sounds great, let's do it, <laughs> let's do it. Oh, look at that sun right there, wow.